with radio controlled crafts such as this one right here, what's going on is that this is a radio transmitter which tr is transmitting a 2.4 gigahertz signal to this right here which is a radio re receiver. And these are all digital systems so the, the, the packet of information that's actually being sent is uh, what's called a pulse width modulated signal. And all that really means is that it's sending a square wave that is between one and two milliseconds in width. And depending on where these sticks are in their position on the controller dictates how long that square wave is that's transmitted from this transmitter to this receiver. And so when this receiver s receives uh, a square wave saying that uh, it's one millisecond long, it means that my stick is down like that. And it, when it receives one that's two milliseconds long, it means that my stick is in a different position. And that's the way that this craft, when it's flying around the, in the air, is able to take instructions from me about where we want it to fly. And we actually use two controllers here, one to control the helicopter and one to control the gimbal, which is down here. So if I pick up this helicopter and to simulate it being in flight, and we turn on the gimbal, that, that turns on, and what's going on now is that gimbal is stabilizing whatever happens to the helicopter and making sure that we get stable footage out of our, out of our camera. And what we can also do with our remote here is control where the camera is pointing. So if I push down on this stick right here, camera comes up, down, it goes down. And so that's a nice way of being able to track subjects like bikers or rock climbers or cars or whatever it is you're trying to film.